So what is your biggest weakness? Um, I think there can be, on my own part, a tendency to try and micromanage everything. Uh, that um, I would posit that as uh, a strength and a weakness. Um, uh, the, uh, the strength it brings is that I have hopefully as much awareness of everything that is happening in my area of responsibility as is possible. Um, the weakness it being that you know, sometimes you just have to trust people and let them go on with it. So I'm, I think I'm very good at working with people. Uh, hopefully most people that work with me will tell you that, but uh, I probably could give some people a bit more space to get on with it, if truth be told. Perfect. And why should we hire you for this position? I would reflect back on uh, what I've uh, mentioned already in terms of um, the experience that I have garnered over a, a long period of time. This is clearly a very front-facing uh, public role, so I have been in public office for approaching um, 12 years next year, frighteningly, and uh, that's clearly allowed me to acquire a significant skill set in being able to interact with people, hopefully trying to put them at their ease, uh, but deal with them in a professional context but also uh, and of fundamental importance being able to engage with uh, various organisations you'll have to in this particular role and because it's such a, a wide-ranging responsibility with responsibility for policy related to business to employment to training to skills more widely uh, to um, the fair work agenda promoting the real living wage you can tell there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of different elements to the role. Uh, I think I've, I'm able, through the, the experience I've garnered, to be able to juggle all those particular, com not competing uh, demands, they're, they're all demands that work uh, in tandem with one another, but they all demand uh, quite a significant degree of attention, and I think I'm able to, to multitask quite well on that basis. <laughs>